How to make money fast in Sea of Thieves. We're going to look at doing a method using gold hoarders and there's lots of different treasures that you can cash in so it makes it one of the best trading companies to do. So before you take a voyage <laughs> always remember to check the black market because there's some special voyages in there and they tend to give you a lot better reward so it's worth checking. Also before we get a voyage and before we start make sure that you raise your missionary flag because you're just going to get bonus stuff just from simply cashing in and also before you cash in try to get to grade 5 as you'll get the maximum reward that you can get in that session. Once you're finished playing don't forget to lower your flag because they'll give you an extra cash bonus just for lowering your flag. So because we're doing the gold hoarders method let's go to gold hoarders and get some voyages. Now remember don't go for the vaults ones just yet we're going to stick with the basic voyages. So grab a couple and go back to a ship. Now make sure that you look through these and if you get any that's got less than three X marks to spot on the island don't bother doing them just keep going through them and eventually you'll get a quest with three or more on there because why go to an island for one chest when you can go for three. Don't worry about completing the quest, there's no need, just get the ones you want and then cancel the quest. Also don't do the riddles because you only get one reward at the end of it and sometimes it can take a long time for you to find where you need to be. So don't bother, forget them, skip them. Also when doing these voyages don't forget to keep an eye out and look for the treasure that could be under the water or could be around on the island. Because at the end of the day you could find mermaid gems, treasure chest cash in, which you could miss if you're not looking for them. If you're a solo slooper, then don't bother doing the vaults. At the end of the day, they can take a while to do sometimes, and you're inside the vault. So you're leaving your ship vulnerable to attack all that treasure on there already. Not only that, you're not guaranteed to get the right chest you want, because at the end of the day, it's just you doing the manual work. And don't bother about them gold piles on the floor. However, if you do sail with someone else, then yeah, maybe these vaults are worth doing, but not by yourself. Thank you for watching my how to guide, I hope this video has helped for you and if it has don't forget to hit the subscribe button or leave a comment down below. Also why not click this video appearing on the screen right now, you never know you might enjoy it.